everyone and welcome to 12 days of sketchmas today we are going to do something on the prompt cozy hot chocolate so for this prompt all i can think of is warm days all wrapped up in front of the fireplace with marshmallowy hot chocolates with a perfect mug so you know that means that we have to design our own mugs for this project you are going to need a blank white mug and some acrylic pens. This is a really simple project and really fun to do. So let's get started. You want to come and help Bella? Hey. <laughs> oh, even Bella's coming to help. So the first thing I did um, was I started planning out the overall mug itself. Um, the easiest way to do it is sort of create like a rectangular shape and using that as your rough idea for planning out. So I was really inspired by um, the theme Cozy Hot Chocolate and I just I couldn't get the idea of marshmallows out of my head. I've been watching a lot of videos lately, a lot of art videos, and I think I might have been inspired by catnip illustrations for this one. She has a really particularly cute uh, marshmallow character. So um, maybe I was inadvertently inspired by that. I couldn't tell you. It's only after I've looked at it and going, huh, maybe I was taking a bit of inspiration from that. Um, so to actually sketch up on the ceramic, I'm just using a normal pencil here. But I'm going to give you a disclaimer. Um, if you are looking at using acrylic pens on a mug or a plate or whatever you're thinking of using on, it is not food safe. Um, so this will not be able to be used as a normal mug. Um, unfortunately, it it just it, it doesn't behave that way. It's it's not ceramic paint. You would need to use ceramic paint and fire it for it to be food safe and even then it needs glazing. Um, I did a research after I started this project and I suddenly realized that it wouldn't be suitable. Um, I mean, it'd still make a really cute desk tidy, a really cute sort of like decorative mug and you could do decorative plates with this, um, but unfortunately it is not drinkable and it's the same if you're using sharpies unfortunately it is not food safe so it's not suitable for drinking from or eating from or whatever you want to do um but this is going to make a really cute christmas decoration i'm actually um going to be putting some uh, probably some little flowers in this and i really love or maybe put some like hot chocolate sachets in there and just put him to one side um or i might just gift it i i don't know i when i um, was thinking about the prompt cozy hot chocolate i originally wanted to do an illustration i was going to do either a plant witch theme or a mushroom hunter themed one where the character was sat by the fire like sort of cozied up from the snow that was going on outside and um when i was thinking up of ideas of what to do for sketchmas because i had a lot of ideas of what i wanted to do um I was when I went to the pound shop because um, I needed to pick up some things and there was this white mug and immediately it clicked I was like oh, I have acrylic pens at home I have Poskas let's draw in a mug it'd be fantastic it would be fun and obviously that's how this project has gone um the things I will say about using acrylic pens on a mug, um, sometimes they are gonna flake, sometimes they are gonna leak. Um, it's unfortunate, it, it's not a perfect art, unfortunately. You're not going to get all the cleanness in, all in, under the sun. Um, it doesn't quite behave that way. Like Even I had issues where sometimes, like say my Posca was a little bit too juicy and like, the uh, ink would spread out or after it all dried some, some of it started flaking a little bit so I had to fix it post and then even when I because I, I just covered it in Mod Podge just to protect it a little bit um, not that that's the perfect thing ideally I would use a gloss varnish on top of it um, I would get the gloss varnish spray but I don't actually have any of that at the moment and I didn't want to um, buy too much stuff for this project if that makes any sense um so it was sort of like uh, just uh, after i applied that um 
even then some of the colours started to bleed which is really unusual. I was having a bit of a day with some of these. Even my light pen po uh, brown Posca did not want to play which was a new one. For some reason inexplicably dry it just did not want to work. Sometimes stuff doesn't want to work with you and you've just got to keep fighting. Sometimes you fight a fight and you win or you lose you never know. <laughs> So when you guys think of the prompt cozy hot chocolate, what do you think of? I mean, like I said, I immediately think of like warm, like warming yourself by like a fireplace, drinking a nice hot beverage, or even if you didn't drink a hot chocolate, maybe you're drinking a coffee or a tea. Um, the sort of like cozy vibes I was going for with this, and that's why we have a little blushy marshmallow wrapped in a scarf. <laughs> For this toasted part um, on the top here, I essentially did the lighter layers and then put darker layers on top and then put some lighter layers on top to create this sort of like crackled effect. And at the bottom here, you can see that I added some like white areas and this creates like the illusion of the top being slightly burnt. Um, I was trying to create like a toasted marshmallow sort of vibe um, and it it kind of works i think parts of it look like dragon scales a bit too much but overall it was really fun to do and then we come to the scarf i put down my base layer first um just putting the base color down and after i put the base color down outlined it in with a black marker um because i didn't have an extremely dark red that would have worked um it, it would have been really good actually to have like really dark um, red on top of the for the lines instead of black because the black's a little bit too harsh um, and then I put a pattern on top I knew I wanted something a little bit more than just the plain scarf I knew I wanted to dance it up a little bit make it look a little bit special but you know it just what can I say I wanted to make a patterned scarf <laughs> I think the most difficult part with this was sometimes my uh, pens were a little bit patchy and it just I had to go over some of the layers like once or twice and it was just annoying you can see here that oh, as well I've got a sort of cloth underneath um this is not only to protect the mug in case um say it slipped because I am extremely clumsy um but it was also so that when it was on the table it was a little bit more protected um just because you never know when a cat's going to jump up on your table and decide that they want to play with things surprising you. So, <laughs> um, I would recommend putting something soft underneath if you're working with something that can be quite delicate, um, like a mug or a plate. When I was thinking of Skechmas, I just really wanted to do different things each day so I wasn't always drawing every single day um, and I really enjoyed I mean it's what the third day now and I've really really enjoyed working on this it's been sort of fun to um, try out different things and sometimes succeeding and sometimes failing because you don't know if something's gonna work until you actually play around with it and um, some parts of this are a success and some of it are, is you know not a success but overall it's just fun and I recommend some people to try out these projects um, do something that you would not normally do and step out of your bounds and even if you don't say do it with this prompt list do it with something else like it's not a failure if you tried and say you didn't succeed um that's just a part of learning nothing not everything you do is gonna be perfect because um shakara no one's perfect <laughs> be a bit silly if we all were i think it would be rather uneventful that way to create the pattern i sort of did um like little squares as you can see here and i'm just sort of like it's it's a, kind of like a plat pattern but not quite a plat pattern um but i tried to do it where with the green areas i was using like a darker green and um try and do that on the white areas as well where i was using blue and with a red i ended up using a purple because i didn't quite have a deep enough red or the deep red that i did have just didn't want to cooperate 
you know, it's always fun when things don't want to cooperate, but you know, we adapt, we learn, and we have fun. <laughs> The best thing about projects like this as well is anyone of any age can try it out and if you don't want to use um, Posca pens, uh, you don't want to use acrylic pens, um, there are alternatives that you certainly can use. Uh, you could use acrylic paint if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to play around a little bit more and try out some different things you certainly can. I've tried it with alcohol markers before, it looks extremely faded if you use alcohol markers um but it, you can you can use sharpies as well none of these items are food safe of course but um it's a fun way for you to try something that you would not normally do and you know playing around with stuff like this can be a lot of fun <laughs> like who would have thought that I'd sit here drawing on a mug for a prompt list? Like, you know, it's it's an awful lot of fun. Um, so I'm actually going to ask you what prompt you are most looking forward to, or if you really liked one of the videos that we've posted so far. So far, we've had Sugar Fairy Parade, which was the Shrinkies, uh, the Candy Cane Critter, which we did a character design, which was really fun to do, and Cozy Hot Chocolate. Um, if one of those are, are your favourites so far, let me know. Also, um, which prompt are you most looking forward to? And if you have taken part, please, please, please tag me in your work. I would love to see your interpretation of the prompts. Um, like I said, I get really excited seeing other people's artwork. It just, it's really inspiring and it makes me extremely happy. Um, so if you want to tag me in your work, use the hashtag stay creative with Sophia Lou up on Twitter or Instagram, or maybe join the Discord group. We have an exclusive, uh, we have like a little channel um, just for monthly prompts where uh, some people have already been posting some work and honestly I'm blown away by people's creativity just like the ideas that people have got is amazing I know some people are taking part in D and D and D in December I think it's called or D and December I can't remember um and some people are taking part in Christmas and there is another one that I cannot remember off the top of my head um that people are taking part with as well um i didn't do uh uh huvember this year i might change it to hu huary uh, which is basically just doing it in january instead of november but i'm probably gonna have to cut back a lot on challenges for the for 2021 i'm um, just because i have quite a few projects that i want to work on so for cozy hot chocolate we created this little mug i'm really happy with him i think he's super super cute um i love his little squishy face he just will be perfect for holding things really not drinking out of but holding things <laughs> i'd love to create like my own line of mugs in the future it'd be really fun but they're just really expensive to make and ship because i've done that before so i hope you have enjoyed this video uh keep drawing love what you do and as always folks stay creative <laughs>